Thanks for joining us. I'm Joy Behar sitting in for Larry tonight. And what a great night to fill in because joining me here in New York is Ann Coulter. You could say she's a little controversial, she's a little country, she's a little rock and roll, <laughs> and she's got a new bestseller out, Guilty, Liberal Victims and Their Assault on America. We'll get into that and a lot more, but, it, but first, let's talk about our new president. Welcome to the show, Anne. Thank you. Good to be here. Is there anything you like about Obama? Yes. Oh, wow. Like what? Um, he, he was totally playing the Daily Cause kids for fools on national security. He's basically con continued Bush's... Uh, terrorism policies. Guantanamo's not getting shut down. We're not pulling out of Iraq. In fact, he's increasing the war in Iraq. He's continuing the renditions. I think either either he knew this all along, or he got in, got the national security briefings, and said, I can't let the New York Times run uh -huh. national security. Uh -huh. That's too dangerous. So I had high hopes for him the first few weeks, um, though... The so stimulus would, bill sort of dashed to So you would, you would like him to, to continue torturing people? Is that what you're telling me? We don't torture people, Joy. <laughs> we don't? That's not what I know. No, heard. though, if they're really bad, I know. If they're sorry. really bad, we torture them. I was going to say they'd start showing them old issues, old views. The view. Oh, yeah, you've been on the show. That, did you feel we ganged up on you last time? Um, oh, so no, what? it was a lot of fun. It was like the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Yeah. I'm expecting cards and letters from all of Listen, you. Listen, you sold a lot of books that day. <laughs> the View sells a lot of books. So what do you care if we ganged up on you? I didn't say you ganged up on you. You did. Well, <laughs> you sort of acted like we did. No, I said it was a you, joyful it, occasion. People felt that you were pissed when you <laughs> left. I'm just saying. Okay, so um, what do you think about this stimulus, stimulus bill? Do you think that... I think uh, it's a disaster. You think it's a disaster? It's the reward failure mm -hmm. act of 2009. I mean, it's not that... I like the title, um, and so did most Americans. Support for it went from about 80% when people only knew the title to about 37% as people would find out more and more about it. It's stimulative of big, huge government programs. Um, it rewards failure, and who's going to be left holding the bag? The middle class of America. Yeah, but, you know, your party has done nothing uh, in the past eight years to fix any of this. They ran up the deficit. Well, it only started last fall. But, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, the, the whole economic crisis started last fall, or I promise you McCain wouldn't have been our nominee. Nobody was talking about this until the fall of last year. The well, economy nobody, was nobody fine Nobody seemed to, to have any foresight at all. No, everybody knew. It was exactly like the dot-com boom. Well, then why didn't the because Republicans they were making do money. Something. They were in power. Well, everybody. Why wasn't everyone doing something? People knew it was coming the same way people knew that, you know, Pets.com 10 years earlier mm -hmm. wasn't worth more than GM and GE and IBM combined. People knew that, that these um, internet stocks weren't at worth as much as people were paying for them. People knew that these subprime mortgages weren't, they, the housing couldn't keep going up forever. But, but as long but, as you're making money, it continues. It but, happens with all sorts of but, things. But the Republican Party has now basically turned its back on this, except for three people. Olympia Snow and Susan Collins and Arlen Specter, right? So those are the only three Republicans who say, okay, we're yes, gonna I'm... we're gonna try and do something. What have the Republicans come no, up with? Because that's... They have no plan. Okay, first of all, there is no clear evidence that those three Colin Snow and Specter are Republicans, or I would demand that Michael Steele cut them out. You're um, just saying that because they don't agree with you. No, no, no. Look, I mean, when you get every Republican in the House, plus 14 and then nine Democrats voting against this bill, that's where the bipartisanship is, against the creeping... It's not creeping socialism, it's galloping socialism. It's, it's theft, it's immoral. Um, this, it's, it's shocking, the stimulus bill. I'm you not exaggerate. exaggerating. And the only hope is that Republicans will come zooming back in two years and it won't go into effect do, do because you? this is a disaster. And by the way, people, mm -hmm. people who think that just because their taxes aren't going up right now, okay, you know, maybe I won't benefit from the stimulus bill, um, but I won't be hurt. You will be hurt. You would will you, be would hurt. You, let me Everything ask you. you've made until now would be worth half as much. All right. Do, would you rather that it fail so that the Republicans can be back in power in 2010 no, no, rather no, than no, no, try no, no, to no. do something for the American no, people? No, it has nothing to do with being but, back but in ask, power. Answer if, the question. No, it, I've answered. Oh, would no. you? Would you? Well, let's say it has pass, nothing to do with say Republicans it does being really in power. Great. What if it does it really can't. great? How do you know? You don't know I, because, that. Uh, because massive socialism has never worked. I mean, Argentina tried. Japan tried it. They have higher IQs than we do. You can't borrow a trillion dollars. We don't have a trillion dollars. You know what that means, Joy? That means you either are, are in hock to China, mm -hmm. um, who, and who, there is definitely massive inflation because you start printing money. That means any dollar you have today will be worth 50 cents But in who a few are years. we indebted to for the Iraq war, for example, where we spent a, a, a trillion okay, dollars the, also? Look, and, each, and Bush and his people brought the deficit up incredibly. So who are we in debt to for that? 
um, yeah, and the deficit's very bad, and Republicans have been the ones talking about it for years. I think I, it was Bob Dole who said, oh, Bob. Let, them, let them run on the deficit. We've been running on it for 30 years. Americans don't care. Um, each president, because of the spending of the government, each president has a bigger deficit than the last one. You know what the what entire the, what, deficit... What, 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 take a breath. The entire deficit under George Bush that you're so worried about is $400 uh, billion. This stimulus bill is nearly mm -hmm. a trillion. Well, that's not true. First of all, we both, everybody knows, and when, I'm not a political person exactly, but everybody knows at this point that George Bush got a great surplus when he came into office, and he squandered it. Everyone it's, knows that. It was a surplus on paper. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, um, are you frightened or gleeful that Rush Limbaugh seems to be the head of your party these days? Oh, I think it's fantastic. Really? Yeah, I'd rather have somebody. I mean, I hope, well, actually, we do have a lot, not that I'd rather have some, but I would like more... Um, Republicans running for office who can talk like Rush Limbaugh. You consider can. Rush Limbaugh a Republican? I consider him an extreme right winger. I don't consider him a Republican. An extreme right winger with think? 20 million listeners. Well, you know, that doesn't mean anything to me. Well, that he has 20 does million when listeners. You have... That doesn't mean that 20 million li people are, are agreeing with him, you know. Uh, it means that I, they're listening. I think a lot of people are very something. masochistic and they'll listen to Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> you're saying that his 20 million listeners hate him and disagree with him. No, not with all, him. but not everybody agrees with if him. If you're describing someone as extreme, I think it can't be someone who is massively popular with, with the American people. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's, that's dead down the center. Okay. All right, let me ask you something else. Now, you, the, one Do you the, listen to Rush, by the way? I, I used to work with him. I was on but the same station. But you don't listen to him. No. Well, okay. <laughs> How can you then describe it as extreme? We could interview one of the 20 million people who listen to him but every I'm not then into somebody who filibusters like that. I like you the conversation. You don't listen to him. How do you know he filibusters? Because I worked with him for three years, and I know what he does. <laughs> well, I did used you to work with him? In the early 90s, I had a radio show on WABC Radio. Okay, so from 20 years ago, you have decided you know that he is an extremist. I see him all the time. When he has I, 20 I know, million I listeners. I know his routine. I know his More rap. than anyone on TV. More than Oprah. Do you think everybody watching Oprah hates her? They're I watching it out of schadenfreude. Uh, Would Schaden you ask Oprah? Okay, you know, do people hate you? We, uh, do people <laughs> hate you? I'd like to ask you that. No. Do you think that people hate you? <laughs> no. Not when I have seven New York Times bestsellers. No, I'm, I'm very popular. But you, no, you can't have everybody love you. Not everybody loves you, Anne. People think you asked me if people hated me. I know, but you say <laughs> suddenly you're saying, saying no, they you're saying no because saying everybody you loves me. But you say because you sell books, that makes you people. That makes you think that people love you. Just no, because, because, I said that indicates to me that they do not hate me, which was the question, Joy. Okay, has Anne ever dated a liberal? You'll find out if you stay with us. Have you? We'll find out later. Don't tell me now. <laughs>